I have to tell you, I have been really looking forward to this, but I haven't even spoken yet, and they're leaving. <laughs> For those of you who are not familiar with me, I'm the silverback hipster. <laughs> the topic of the incarnation is really one of my favorites. It's a pivotal part of who we are as a faith community because it involves us in a very real way. And the first time I was out in public in my cassock, I noticed that everybody was staring at me. And uh, it was unnerving. It was sort of like, be, like being in a Santa Claus suit. Well, the whole day, even when he took a lunch break, he was a Santa. And everybody was staring and smiling and waving. And then when he left, he was invisible. Well, what do you do? Well, I started to play the role. A little dour, very serious, prayerful, rope in hand. And I finally talked to my spiritual father about it, and he said, if you're going to journey to the heart of God, you have to have your heart in your hand. You have to own your heart. You have to own your heart. And as long as you are letting other people dictate to you how you should be, even as a monk, you don't own your heart. They own it. And I said, well, what are you, what are you telling me? He said, be yourself. No, not that. <laughs> are you sure you mean that? If God is going to redeem your heart, he has to own it because you've given it to him. If you're going to journey to the heart of God, you have to have your heart in your hand. You have to own your heart. If God is going to redeem your heart, he has to own it because you've given it to him. So the key to spiritual growth for a monk, and for all of us, in fact, is to be yourself. For me, I'm the silverback hipster.